Hey, hi everyone. You all guys want to win hackathons. But how? What is a hackathon? How to win hackathons? And how hackathons can land you in amazing job roles? That's what is going to be learned in today's video. Before we go ahead and understand how we can win hackathons, let's first understand why should you participate in hackathons? I will give you only three reasons why you should go ahead and participate in hackathon. Number one reason, to learn new skills. Number two, to network with like-minded people. Number three, to just go ahead, collaborate with people and build real world projects. These are the three reasons why you should be going ahead and participating in hackathon. These hackathons are generally organized in various formats, online, offline, hybrid. One of the famous format is a offline format, which people love. Generally, these offline format hackathons have 24 hours to 36 hours time duration. In this time duration, you have to gather a team, get onto an idea, develop a product and go and pitch that product. That's what you have to do in this particular 24 to 36 hours of time duration. Although you should always aim for winning a hackathon, but my sincere suggestion is to just participate in each and every hackathon which comes in front of you. Regardless of that, let's see the seven points which can actually help you win any hackathon. Number one, before even you go for any hackathon, plan how to win this hackathon. That means get all your things ready. Let it be a startup code, resources, all the working components which you might be using in real projects right now, get them all aligned in one place. And also do a drill mock hackathon. This will actually make sure you know how to build product in 24 hours or 36 hours when you go for a real hackathon. Now let's see the second point. The second point is gather a very good team. A good team of four to five people with various skill sets. These skill sets should also include someone who can pitch your product very clearly. And also a few other skill sets like front end, back end, and various other skill sets which may be required as per depending upon a hackathon. Build an amazing team. That's going to always be a, a very important point to win a hackathon. Third thing, which is very important aspect, that is ideating in a hackathon. You need to have amazing ideas. But these amazing ideas should have two different aspects thought through. Number one, why you are building a product and for whom you are building a product and how you can attach a commercial angle to your idea. If you have this thing sorted, your idea is going to be very powerful when you are going to present it end of the day along with a demo. So make sure your ideation process is amazing and validate your idea before finalizing it. The fourth point is like know your audience. Know your audience even before you enter a hackathon. Who is going to be the judge? Who is going to be in the panel that is going to come and evaluate your project? The fifth point, focus on building a MVP, a minimum viable product. Don't aim for moon or like Mars. Just aim for like building three to four features and showcase your roadmap properly. Three to four features, demo it and more features you talk about it. The sixth point, which is very important aspect, that is what you can showcase in a demo, that will only be winning. Because end of the day, you can't say to a jury that, hey, I am building something on a backend, which I can't show you right now. Build at most features on front end part and make it workable. So that end of the day, consumer is able to use it. So this three, four features, whatever you make it, make sure you demo it properly. And the last point is prepare a lot for your pitch. If you are not prepared for your pitch, a pitch is basically in two minutes, explain what you have built it, why you have built it, who are going to use it, and what is the commercial aspect attached to your product. If you don't have a commercial aspect, it's okay, but showcase what's the impact that you can create using this particular product. And make sure you are focusing on telling a story. So just like how am I doing right now? You should focus on telling a story. And trust me, trust me, pitching is something which is so underrated. People think about like development, technology, this, that, everything. But no, end of the day, if you're not able to explain your product, you are, you are going to fail. So make sure you invest a lot of time in explaining and storytelling about your product in a hackathon. So these are the seven tips and tricks using which you can actually win a hackathon. Now, one of the important questions you all may be having is, which are the platforms that I can go and find out these hackathons? I will give you five platforms which are my favorite places to go and find out upcoming hackathons. Number one, 
hackerearth.com number 2 devfolio number 3 devpost number 4 is eventbrite number 5 is hackclub.com it is a sub domain it's hackathons.hackclub.com now last one point which i want to make sure if you have liked this particular video on how to win hackathons subscribe to this youtube channel we are in a process of creating amazing content for upgrading you all the times it's free just subscribe you can unsubscribe it later if you don't like it bye bye take care have a nice day